Oh. Now, this is one of my favorite exercises. This is from here. It will actually work the inner tricep because you do the lion French press to work the outer tricep. But this one is more of the inner tricep. You need the combination. And uh, I wanted to share a little story with you. And most people forget today, but when I was very young, you know who my hero was besides like Steve Reed, Hercules? Sean Connery. You know who Sean Connery is, the original James Bond. But what most people don't know is that in 1952, he got on his vessel and he drove from uh, Scotland Yard. He went to the Victoria Palace to compete in the Annapolis Mr. Universe competition. Sean Connery, the bodybuilding competition, when he competed, he didn't place high. But apparently in the competition, you can see that I look at the pictures, that when you see him, he had a nice physique. And then, as a matter of fact, Dr. No was offered to Steve Reed. Steve Reed turned it down. Guess who took the part? Sean Connery. And that made Sean Connery history. And Jane Bond, and when I was very young in the eighth grade, I remember my or student or my class, we took a bus, we went to see a double header, Dr. No and From Russia With Love with Sean Connery. And I remember seeing the, uh, the movie uh, From Russia With Love, and the villain in the movie was Robert Shaw, who was on Joy. And he had blonde hair and was frightened looking. So there was a scene at the end where they have a fight scene on the train. The Robert Shaw get the wire out of his watch and tries to kill him, but Sean Connery had a hidden knife in his suitcase and took it out and popped him and threw him out of uh, the subway, right through the window. And everyone over the class was screaming, clapping, and cheering. And it brought tears to my eyes because I said, this is what my hero is like. This is what I want to be like. It saved my life because at the time it was him and CB playing Hercules on the screen. So these two were real men. When you look at them, you look at the masculinity, the beauty about them, the suave, the way they act. That's what I want to emulate because reading comic book like the Hulk, like Superman, Spider-Man. That was a great transition from the comic book to Sean Connery, real life, and Steve Reed. And then I remember to put pictures of Steve Reed in my basement, the shot of him posing and holding a trophy. And for some reason, I was so obsessed with that, and especially with Sean Connery, I said, this one I want to look like. And it gave me that vision. The vision was bodybuilding, keep training, and maximize your physique. Even though back then you had all the naysayers saying, say, why is Lou working out, barbell and dumbbell? All you talking about dumbbell. There's something wrong with him. They would come to my father and say, maybe your son needs a psychiatrist because all he does is read muscle books day and night. So people just laughed about it, but I didn't care because I knew that it gave me passion and motivation for myself and made me feel good about myself. So I continued on that journey. And just think about it, if I haven't continued that journey, where would I be now? But getting back to Sean Connery, the guy's going to be like 90 years old. And I know he's retired, but he's the one celebrity that if I met today, I would have to shake his hand and take a selfie with him because he's my one favorite hero.